just going to stream live. So today, what the webinar that we are going to do is obviously something that we're probably not doing right now, um, but you will be. Or you can modify this so if you guys are doing virtual open houses, things like that where individuals are registering. Um, but it's more or less learning how to leverage the landing page creator and how to get those leads into your CRM system, get them so people that visit your open house, for example, and then how to get the system to automatically just start reaching out to those people on your behalf. Um, so I'm just going to get this going live, hopefully on a agent locator client. We shall see. And go from there. Alrighty, so sorry. Perfect. So we are live on here. So I'm just going to share my screen with you guys. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, this is a multi-step. This is going to be recorded, of course, so that you guys can watch it afterward. Um, so the landing page creator is something that you guys actually have access to. Any agent locator client does have access to the landing page creator. I am going to pull the link so that you guys can, um, I'm going to post it in the chat. I'm going to copy, go back. Um, but that is basically with that one there, uh, the landing page creator, you just create an account. It's, it's free to use uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So once you're, once you're on here, basically, you're going to create your account on the landing page creator. Uh, it's basically asking your contact information when you go into the next step, asking for your office information, your logo, and you're finishing it. Um, and you're creating all of that in there. So once you have that account, you're going to go into the landing page, landing page creator here and log in. So I'm just going to log in uh, so you guys can see how this all works. Post.ca and I think that was my password. Perfect. So once you have this in here, there's a couple things I want to point out to you um, is your feeds. Okay, so if you have the send to agent locator, this means that it would send it to your CRM system. Now, in order to have this happen, our support team does have to help you because you need to be able to provide a company ID and a user ID, which isn't visible anywhere on your account or anything like that. So our support team would need to know your, your login details that you have on here so that they can, they can put that information in for you or at least provide you that information so you can enter it in. Uh, now, one thing with the landing page creator is you do have the ability to create forms on here. Um, so with the forms, I created this one right here. So I'm just going to go and pretend I'm editing it. Um, so you can create um, whatever you're going to call that, that form, you know, when somebody completes that form, are we sending it to agent locator? Are we sending it to my email address? In this case, I want the leads to feed into my CRM system. Uh, you're then adding the different fields. So in this top right hand corner right here, you have the input. Um, so when you have the input added, for example, it'll, it'll bring it right down here. You can rearrange these, of course. And so when you click on that one, you're basically telling it what field in the system is that going to be um, with regard to it. So if it's a person, is it their first or last name, their phone or email, that sort of thing. You also have the ability to make it so that it is a required field if you wish to. Um, so I'm just going to remove this one because we don't need it. And then you also have the ability to create a selection. So if you click on this one, what it'll do is it'll kind of do the same idea where I ch chose moving timelines so somebody can answer, they can select this. Um, again, you can make it required or not required. In this case, I made it not required. 
Um, and then we have uh, your hidden values. So the hidden values are going to do things like create the source in the CRM system. Um, it will also uh, do things like create a specific tag. So a lead that registers off this form would get a specific tag added to them. Um, so for this hidden value, and again, that's just up here, you do hidden input. I want this hidden value to be a tag. And so the tag that I wanted is like one, two, three Main Street. So for example, if I'm using this form with various um, open houses, I can easily um, modify this tag accordingly. Uh, you then have one where it's the lead source. Uh, there is a little short form here. If you just copy this domain name and with the brackets and put it here, it'll automatically put this as the source of that, that lead when they come in. Um, uh, the source, so the function of the landing page also to pay, you could use this, there are some people that use this for pay-per-click, just depends on what it is that you're really trying to drive traffic to. Uh, so the question was, can this be used to apply to pay-per-click? Um, so you could essentially, it really depends, there's some people that do it with respect to uh, specific buildings that they may be working in and so on. Um, when it comes to the landing page creator, um, not all of us are super tech savvy or really feel like we want to have the time to do this. So our support team can definitely create you pages on here. Um, and they, they range from, I believe, 10 to 25 bucks. So if it's an open house page, it's 10 bucks. If you want them to create this sophisticated uh, landing page with respect to a new condo development, for example, that would be 20, 25 bucks for them to do that. I often just say like time is money. So it depends on how complicated <laughs> you want it to be um, is, is essentially, um, you know, do you want to spend the time to do it or can you do something else with, with your time during that? Um, so when it comes to, to creating a landing page, it is fairly straightforward. Uh, you just go create new landing page. Um, so there is different options that you can do. Um, in here for this example, I use this simple one uh, right here. Um, so you can actually create one. Now, when you go to create one of these landing pages, you can put it on a subdomain. The subdomain is always wehelp.ca. So it could be like, you know, 123 Main Street wehelp.ca. It could be um, a domain that you have specifically for that property. Our support team would help you connect that domain name to this specific landing page for you. Um, now, I have created uh, my site, so where is my site? So I created this one here for an example one. Once you've created it, you can edit the site. Um, so here, basically, you just click on the little option or double click. You can change what that says. You can change the text color if I wanted to change that, that as well, and then just make sure you hit save. Um, you select that. Again, change what that says. Make sure you hit save. Um, the background here, you can have um, an image if you wanted this little background to the form to have an image, um, or you can add the transparency to that color, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and then you select which form you're gonna use, of course, on here. So you select the form, I want the training form one, I'm gonna use that form, you can change this. You can also change your background. So if you have an image that you wanna do, you can select image, it brings you into the service, uh, the, the server for agent locator. You can upload an image of that listing, that property um, to use as the background image, or you can use stock photos, whatever suits you best, um, needless to say. Um, so it's once it's created, you basically it's 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 there. Um, you can edit it if you care to, um, but it's pretty straightforward in this case. It's just an open house registration. Um, so if you're at an open house where this is ideal, is if if you have this on a tablet, uh, just sitting there. I encourage that you have it on a tablet in an incognito window. Uh, that way, nothing is cached on that form. So if somebody submits it, another person can keep submitting it. It's not going to cache anything. Um, on there and as soon as they fill it out, that's when they're gonna go into your CRM system instantly. Um, so going into the CRM, I'm just gonna see there's a question here. Um, so the Shanna, so Shanna's asking where she can create these landing pages. So Shanna, and I think I put it in the chat. Um, yeah, so in the chat, if you look in the chat there, 
um, there is the landing page creator where you can create it. So it's outside of your CRM. It's, it's a different thing. Once you create an account, you will get an email confirming, you know, the login screen because it's a different URL that you would log into and your login details in there as well. So it's not directly connected to your system. Um, so when it comes to the audiences for your landing pages and, and things like that, so to see how basically when you have an open house, you want to advertise that open house first and foremost. The landing page is, of course, when you are at the open house itself. Um, now, with regard to your CRM system, it's, it's about advertising to those individuals that are most likely going to attend your open house. Some of you don't do that sort of thing. They just blast it off to everyone. Um, it's entirely how you run your business, but sometimes the more targeted your, your marketing is, the better audience or better interaction you're going to have with it. Um, so basically, you can find everyone in your system um, based on your filters. So you have a buying city, buying home type, buying price. Um, so let's say I have a buying home type and I have a condo listing and I apply it out of my 116 leads here, 22 of them are currently set up to receive listings for a condo. Uh, if you wanted to do the, uh, the city, so let's say my condo is in Toronto, um, we can do that and pull up of those 22, 50, 15 of them are actually looking for a listing in um, Toronto that is a condo listing. Um, you can even go even further as to price point um, if you want to target based on the buying price as well. Um, you can do a range, you can do equal to or greater than, equal to or less than. If it's a range, for example, and I put 400,000 to 500,000, because maybe my listing is 450,000, um, what it's going to do is anyone's search it falls within this range or the beginning or starting point. So for example, 400 could be somebody's upper price limit. It could be the, someone's lower price limit. Same with the 500,000. This could be their upper, this could be the lowest price limit. Or they could have searches in between. So they could be, for example, 250 to 350. Uh, I don't know, so 250 to 400, this would be their upper price limit. They could be 400 to 450. They could be 500 to 700,000. So, but their price points fall within that. So if I was going to apply this filter out of those 15 leads, I now have seven that fall within this criteria. These would be the seven people that would most likely attend my open house. Um, so Sarah is asking if and when AL sets up one of the AL Accredited landing pages on my branded site, is the URL for the landing page simply my site URL plus an extension or does the landing page have an entirely unique URL? Um, so it would tend to have an entirely unique because the standalone, it's a standalone creator. Now they can create a page on like, let's say it's on your menu and it's like, you know, um, one, two, three Main Street, for example, um, they can actually link it, that, that page over to that, uh, that landing page. So it looks like it's a page on your website, but it's actually linking that visitor outside of your website, if that helps you at all. I'm not sure if it does. Um, so with regard to this, so now this is your audience for your open house that's in your dashboard. Um, needless to say, again, you can use all or any of these to find that audience. And then you would want to mass email them about that open house. So when you do that, you're going to select all of the leads that pop up and then you're going to send them a mass email. Um, so you're typically going to create this as a template first and foremost. I'm not creating it on the fly um, unless you are familiar with all the short codes um, and things like that, um, but a lot of people aren't. And if you have one error in your short code, it will come out saying something like, hi, first name instead of actually the person's name. Um, so I always encourage that you guys use the uh, emails and go into the email section and create the template first. Um, so with that, I believe Ms. Brana, she may have created one. And I'm not sure if she did create one. Did you create one, Brana? I know you're on here. Hey, um, what did you want to know if I created what? Did you create the flyer for the open house or no? Um, I did, but outside of our CRM. Oh, okay. Yeah, no so, yeah, no, I did. Um, 
I did. I did. I did. Uh, I know you did it on the other one. So that's okay. I'll show, I'll show everyone uh, with respect to okay. um, poster my wall. So I had Brona help me with this um, poster my wall. Apparently I can't type well. Um, so poster my wall is a third party site. Uh, we actually, Brona discovered it while we were, we're doing this. Um, so it's actually a pretty cool site. You guys can create flyers on here. Um, a lot of it is free. Um, you can pay for a subscription if you wish to, um, but things like you can search for open house. If I can type. Um, and it'll actually give you a bunch of designs for an open house. And then all you have to do is edit that template. So if you want to customize that template, uh, you definitely can. And so you can kind of swap photos, things like that. Um, the photo of the listing, for example, you can change what it says, the address, all that, all those fun things that kind of go with that. Um, so once you have that created, you just download it to your computer as an image, essentially. It will download to your computer. There is a little watermark at the bottom that says poster my wall. Um, some people care if it's there, some people don't. If you don't want it there, that's when you pay to have it. Um, so if you want it, I think without that, it's like $3 or something like that. But they actually give you print quality. Um, so if you are doing print marketing of any sort, you can actually choose the different sizes. So you can make postcard sizes, uh, business card sizes, really depends on, on what you're trying to achieve with that. Um, so once you have that, I know Brada had created us some, some email templates uh, in here. Um, so to create an email template, you're just gonna go into the email section here. And I just wanna make sure. Landing pages with both the lead gen web. So Shanna is asking, can you create landing pages with both a lead gen website and also a branded website? Well, Shanna, the landing page creator is something available to all of our clients, uh, regardless of the platform you're on. So whether you are on a branded website or only on lead gen site, you can definitely create them. Um, with respect to the lead gen website, you cannot link, like add a menu item to that lead gen site. Um, so you wouldn't be able to like have on the menu, like whatever it is that you want to do that you would have on a branded website. Um, because the, the, the unbranded landing page or unbranded lead gen sites, you cannot edit, right? So um, in here, you do have your email templates. So you can create categories. Um, there is like the open house ones. So basically, um, oh, you did create the you're invited. Um, so the you're invited, so what Brana has done on this one here, for example, is she just put this in, you know, um, you know, wanted to personally invite you to an open house, you know, open house happening in your area of interest. Um, please check out the details below or click here. This click here is a hyperlink. So you can create a hyperlink just by highlighting text and link it. So then this link, essentially, you would have going to your website with the listing information. So you'd pull up that listing on your website and then grab that URL that's popping up there. Um, you can also look, so she incorporated that listing information in here. Again, you can highlight the photo and also link the photo to the listing as well. So if we were sending out that mass email to that audience, we would select you know, something with that property information nonetheless to be able to send to those individuals uh, that are going to come to the open house. Does anyone have any questions with respect to email campaign or the email templates um, in here? Uh, so the template, so no. So Santa is asking if the, the template's probably on this uh, poster my wall. They cannot be added, unfortunately, as templates to your CRM. Now, if there is a particular design that you're really fond of, um, you could always email support and see if that is a possibility. And um, depending on the complexity of it, there would likely be a charge for that. But if they create the template for you, it's just like a one-time one -time thing. And then you would just edit that template every single time um, that you've done that. Um, yes, so you can, uh, so let me just dismiss some of these so that I have answered those. 
Um, so Kim is asking, can we embed a personal video? So I imagine the personal video in the email. Um, so you cannot embed a video in an email, but what you can do is create a GIF. Um, so when you're referring to things like BombBomb Bomb, where they are putting video in there, so maybe you're doing a virtual open house and you can kind of get into the autoresponders and you're kind of walking through doing like a, a viewing of the house kind of thing. Um, what you do is you go on to jiffy.com and you create a GIF. Um, so I'll just open up another account so that you can kind of see. Um, so if you go to jiffy.com, uh, for example, it could be an image that you created GIF with. It could be a video. Uh, do note if you are creating a video with GIF, uh, which which is basically a moving picture, um, the video you upload has to be only uh, 15 minutes in length at most. Um, so if you know your little open house tour, your video is longer than 15 minutes, then what I would do is um shorten that video like make a, like a similar kind of like intro to what you're about to do but create it smaller because it's just for the purpose of the gif that's all it's for um so all you're going to do is go create um so you can create your own gifs on here um so if you were to do a video for example um let me just go on youtube and find some random um video that i can i just want youtube i don't want anything else um so let's just go on to youtube come on facebook or for google and i just want to uh i just want to find a video that perhaps has a lot of moving action right in the beginning let's just i don't even know what this is let's just click on this one and i'm going to share it so I can grab the URL of this. So this would be on your YouTube channel, for example, um, that you're on here. But once you have the YouTube, if you're doing it as a video, you would grab the video. So we can see here that this is moving, right? So we can actually change the duration. So do we want it to be four seconds, 10 seconds? Uh, do we want it to start at the beginning or do we want it to start over here or over here? Um, that sort of thing, it kind of, you pick where, where it starts so this in an email will look like it's a video for somebody to click on and engage in and um, so if we continue to decorate this now you can add text to it um whether it's it's how you add text you can add stickers to it as well um so we'll just wait for it to load in here i'm not sure there we go so now it's on here so um you know you know welcome to one two three main street for example, you can move this up, that sort of thing. Uh, you can have it so that it's like the font is a different. You can also add animations to it. So maybe I want that to wave, or maybe I want it to, to type out, or maybe I want it to, you know, they call it climatic or whatever. So there's a lot of different things that you can do on here with respect to that. Um, you can then add a sticker. So let's say you want it to like click here, um, for example. You could do that um, with respect to whatever it may be. So maybe I want this little sticker on here um, to get the person to, to actually click on it. And then you continue to upload and upload to Jiffy. So once you have it uploaded to Jiffy and it's all done, this is a moving picture. That's what a GIF is. It's just a moving image. Um, so video itself is never actually in an email. It's always a GIF. Um, that you are viewing, encouraging you to click it and then it reloads or kind of cycles through. Um, so I know with Jiffy for whatever reason, the last couple of days, it's been a little bit glitchy. There we go. It went through. So all you're going to do is right click this and save it. Um, so save image as, and I'm going to go main street GIF whenever my little save screen pops up here. And then I'll show you how you do that. So Main Street, and then I'll just do this. And we have a question. Uh, so Shanna's asking if there's a video creator website that I recommend that has templates with stock images, videos that you can customize. Um, not so much. Uh, there is, if you go on to like pixabay.com, 
Uh, so that's one of them. There's also Pexels.com. Um, Pixels, they have, or Pixabay, for example, has several different stock images that you could use um, that are have basically been contributed by all different users. They are available to use for commercial use. So you will not get any charges or anything like that for using them. Um, but there is some videos on here. So it depends on what you're doing. Uh, for example, if I'm, I'm going to type in running, I'm looking for videos that are of people running um or running essentially when you hover over it kind of gives you what that video is um that you could use for different things um so there is that um these are all free to use the crystal little... yeah um, unsplash also has a whole slew of photos high definition photos and stuff that people can use for free unsplash unsplash it's i don't think it has videos but it does have photos okay so free images and pictures and there's all sorts of different categories and stuff. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So just to be when you're, well, email is probably not as big of a deal, but definitely if it's going on your website, um, the last thing you want to have is the person that has the right to that video coming after you saying you're not allowed to use that. Um, so once you're on here, let's say I wanted to add that video here in there, what you're going to do is you're just going to download that image that you put. So you click that little download button. So whether you downloaded your open house thing um, or you downloaded that video, um, I am going to find that Main Street one that I just created. Apparently I didn't create it as that. There we go. Um, so it'll pull right in here. I'm going to decide to actually pull in here. There we go. Um, so now we've got the moving picture inside here. It looks like a video, right? It looks like you're talking or if you're talking or doing something, someone's going to naturally, because they either want to hear sound because um, they like can't hear anything or it's, it's, they know that they, they have to click it. So what you have to do is then highlight it and link it. All right. So in this case, maybe I wanted them to link to that YouTube channel by clicking on this. And so that's how you would create the GIF, um, the video, so to speak, in the email. Um, that you have. I do have, yes, yeah, so Yoti, there is instructions on this already in your system. Um, so in the email page, once you go in here uh, for adding GIFs, if you go to the question mark at the top here, um, right here, um, so this question mark changes reflective of where you guys are currently situated within your CRM system. Um, so right now we are currently on the email settings page. Um, so all these videos are reflective of here. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, I have a tutorial on how to add the video into your emails. Um, so it goes through the Jiffy, goes through all of this um, that I kind of just went over um, in here. So this could link anywhere. It could link to a listing on your website. It could link to you know some sort of stats. It could link to a video, link whatever you want it to link to. Um, you can link those um, wherever you wish to. Um, so when you're sending out that mass email, then again, this would be, a, again, picking that audience for your open house, or if you send it to everyone, it's entirely however you do business. Um, some people like to show sellers, you know, whether they're, that's their market or not, that this is what we do for our open houses, um, things like that. Um, so now that we've got that out, let's pretend we've got a lead that came in. So now we've sent that out. We've got the audience um, there, you know, in addition to any other open house um, advertising that you may be doing. Um, you could definitely use Facebook um, to do that as well. So, for example, if I went on to, uh, I'm just going to pick out a website with a listing, essentially. Just bear with me a second. So maybe this is my listing, I view it. You just grab this URL um, for that specific property. And then on your Facebook, you're just gonna post that. You would do that on your business page, not on your um, branded page. This one I'm on, there we go. Um, so you would do it on your business page that you do have, um, but all you would have to do, and I'll actually I'll do it on my, my business page because you will be able to boost it. Right, so boosting those posts um, to get it in front of a larger audience. Um, 
So once you have it in there, it will fetch the little link right here. Once that link is there, you can choose to leave this here. You can delete it because the link has already served its purpose here. Some people like to include a link to their website. Some don't find it necessary. Um, but then you would write, you know, open house alert, da, 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 da. Um, and then when you post it, the photo for the property will actually show up. Um, so anyone now clicking on it uh, will be brought into that listing. Um, you can, I don't have boost on this account, but you can boost that post. So if you're spending a dollar or two dollars a day or five or ten dollars, whatever it is that you're boosting, you can boost that post to get it in front of a larger audience um, so that more people actually see it. Um, you do also have the ability to run an ad um, on Facebook as well. Um, through the ads manager if you're if you're looking to drive traffic that way um, and that was a previous webinar we did and we will be doing one again on Monday um, for Facebook stuff um, so again it's getting that traffic to the website um, to look at the listing information plus all the information all the users and leads in your system is advertising that open house to them as well um, to gain the the audience and, and so on the interest in people attending your open house or if it's a virtual open house um, that you guys are doing uh, right now just to kind of get and, and get the interest spikes and things like that. So now what we have actually done is with this landing page, because there is, so this is again, so now you're holding your open house landing page, right? You're having your landing, you're, you're having your open house, for example. So you could even run your Facebook campaign um, where it drives them to a link that they have to register on here if you're running a, a Facebook campaign um, to sign up to receive this. Um, so if you are on our automated system, you can automate a campaign as soon as somebody registers. Um, or enters your CRM system. So if I registered on this page, I've actually set up a campaign that's gonna automatically send a text message um, and an email to this lead two hours after they visited the open house. Um, so you may actually start building communication with these leads while you might still even actually still be in the open house because they got there right at the beginning of it um, or whatever it may be. Um, but if you're doing this on Facebook, same idea, you can have like the open house, like, you know, virtual open house. And then when they register, they automatically get that email with the video of your open virtual open house and kind of go from there. So there's a lot of different creative ways that you guys could leverage this. Um, if you do need help with that and, you know, trying to like figure it out, just let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll try to troubleshoot and walk through that with you. The best approach. Um, just going to see here. Uh, sample is, so Al is asking for samples. Al, what are you looking for samples of? Uh, the campaign. So I do have one, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the sample. So with this one here, uh, essentially, um, I filled out the campaign. I can fill it out again. I just have to, actually, I won't even fill it out again. I'll just show you. Um, so in the CRM system, I built out a campaign. So because remember again, when a lead is created in here, I set it up so that it has the source of that landing page, um, the URL of it, and then I also have the tag that was automatically applied to it um, through that specific form. So I created this lead um, in here with respect to this. Now the campaign that I created, um, it was pretty straightforward. It wasn't, it wasn't anything complicated. Um, it was the open house, thank you for visiting. So I'm just gonna edit this so that you guys can see what that looks like. Um, so what I did is, so once that lead landed in the CRM system, they were automatically added to a campaign. And so the first action is two hours after they came into the system. So two hours after they registered at that open house, they got they're going to get an email and this email is basically thanking the person you would fill out the date and the address of the home on um, that sort of thing uh, with regard to that uh, we also included a portion on here basically saying like if you're interested in receiving alerts for homes that match your budget and criteria the same day that they're listed i'd be happy to assist uh, you can also visit and then i put the lead gen site there to get started and I'll follow up with you accordingly. So you can try to get them to go to that site to get listing alerts from you as well. Um, now, one minute after this email goes out, 
I've sent a text message to that person. Hi, first name, it's agent's first name. I wanna thank you for stopping by my open house. My seller's looking for feedback as to your thoughts on their home. Any feedback you could provide would be amazing. Thanks again. Um, so if that person happens to respond, of course you're responding back to them, but that's when you can kind of throw in the loop about getting them listings and being able to kind of convert that potential buyer into a buyer client in there. Um, yes, Al, we can send it over to you. That's not a problem. Um, if you could just email me, Al, it's crystal at agentlocator.ca because I may not. So if anyone wants these examples, for example, and afterward, just send me a, sh a quick email. And what I'll do is I'll create a Google, like a drive um, for you guys so that you guys can access it anywhere. Um, so after that, this action was done. So this is both basically going out two hours after the lead registered at your Hope and House. I did put some stopping clauses um, on this um, so that these don't go out if, if certain things happen. So you can actually skip actions. Um, and then basically the third step is two days after that, we created a task um, basically to follow up call if we haven't actually made contact with these people, essentially to follow up with them based on that open house. Um, and then three days after that, there was another looking for your feedback email. Um, and again, this isn't gonna go out um, if we've actually spoken or made contact with that person. So you can really build your campaigns as, as big as you want them to. Um, to serve the purpose of an open house, you're really looking to gain feedback for your sellers and, and, and what have you, but also trying to convert that, that individual into a buyer client. Um, so it's just kind of, allowing you to work that lead while you still may be in that open house um, there. Yes, it is. So crystal at agentlocator.ca. There you go. So if you just send that over to me, then that would be great. Um, perfect. So that would be the campaign. And then you would just do an automatic assignment for that campaign. Um, so an automatic assignment means that when a lead enters your system, they meet these following requirements, they're going to be automa automatically added to that drip. Um, so in this case, we have this source as that specific website. So the training 11, we have, um, and they have to also have this tag. So if I happen to edit this website for whatever reason, this is a very uh, generic, maybe it's just like open house registration dot we help that you use and edit all the time, um, you're gonna wanna change the tags that are on them, um, needless to say, um, but you basically, they have to meet these two um, criteria in order to add to this. You can have just the one, um, you can have just this one, they have to meet some sort of criteria in order to automatically be added to this drip. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just going to create a lead on here, um, open house and that, and I just have to create a fake email. Actually, you know what, I'll just put in, I can't put in anything. Plus. 156 at agentlocator.ca and then put the timeline in and I'm going to show you where that goes. So I'm not sure if the plus feature works on here when it comes to that landing page. Yes, it did. Um, so now the lead is in here instantly. So you guys see me, I just entered that lead in through that landing page creator. The lead is already in my system. They already have that tag. They already are showing the source here. Now, if I open up this lead, we're gonna be able to see that there has also been an email campaign assigned to this person already. So they're now already assigned to this. So it is scheduled. Um, you could always force it out as well. So if you wanted to force these out sooner than, than what they registered, you would just jump in here and you can force each individual action. So yes, I wanted that to go out. Um, maybe I want the text message to go out as well right now, but these other two I'm just going to leave for the time being. Um, so that is essentially how you would more or less market. Um, the SMS, the valid, the phone number has been marked as valid because that SMS was sent and delivered to the recipient. Um, so we know that we've got the valid phone number in there. Um, the emails is, for whatever reason, I don't know if maybe it didn't hit, 
now we're showing a valid email because that email as well also did hit that it, it delivered to an inbox essentially um so do you guys have any questions it was kind of like a roundabout way so basically what you're going to do is you're going to build that open house landing page if you know you're having the, that open house um, your next step of course is to advertise that open house whether you are doing it on social media um, or for your leads um, in the system filtering that audience and sending them the mass email about the listing information um, open house details things like that um, and then it's them actually going to your open house and using that landing page that you created for the registration. When those leads register, they would automatically come into your CRM system and you can automatically have a campaign associated it with it. So if you want a campaign associated or not, entirely up to you. Now you can leverage this same aspect for a lot of different things as well. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, just for an open house. So you can use those landing pages um, for anything really. Um, some, you know, when the weather gets nicer, you know, some agents really target a specific neighborhood and you guys do like community garage sales. Um, you can have a page where people register on that page and then you automatically assign them to a specific drip that you have created, um, just outlining specific dates and things like that regarding, you know, specific to that open or the, the garage sale. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can, um, use these things um, but the poster my wall is a great way to get some of that additional like those those flyers and the last and again you can send them to printers as well um, when the time comes that that you're doing that does anyone have any questions surrounding either landing page creator uh, the crm system email templates audiences things like that Crystal, I think Bet had a question about um, if she had a YouTube video, is it best to bring it over to Giphy? Jiffy? Yeah, so if your video is in YouTube, so basically, so yeah, so Bet, what you would do is on Jiffy is you would share that in there um, to create the GIF. That's all you're doing is you're just creating the GIF. People are not actually watching your video in Jiffy. It's just to create that moving image. And then when they click on it, then you would direct them to your YouTube channel. Um, some people will have that video embedded in their blog or a page on their website. Um, so it's just really a matter of how you would want those, those people to view that video. But GIF is just really to create a moving picture um, is all it's doing. So whether you're creating that moving picture through uh, an image or like a slideshow, I mean, get quite creative. If you guys are doing newsletters, it will increase your click rate. Um, anything, people just seem like they've got to push something that's moving. <laughs> um, it's just that it's just the thing that they do. Um, so I know I had tried it with one of my clients that he spent a lot of work on his, I, I think he really just enjoyed doing it. Um, but he created these landing pages with all his information and video walkthrough, like all this stuff, but he just wasn't getting any clicks. Like he was getting like a couple people clicking every time. And for the amount of effort he put in, we tried him like, okay, let's do it just now. Let's try it, try it and see what happens. And he actually successfully, uh, I'm going to say like 10 times the amount of clicks off his first trial. Um, people actually engaged in that, that, that email that much more because there was something for them to engage in rather than just like click here to view this or what have you. So um, I don't know if it's just human nature when it's moving, you got to click it. Or if it looks like there should be sound, like someone's talking to you, you're like, you click it to hear the sound, right? So it's just uh, a great way to encourage individuals to engage in, in your communications really is, is to have those little GIF videos in there um, nonetheless. Um, any additional questions you guys have? No? So um, Monday we are having Nadine back in on here. So we are going to do Facebook again. Um, a lot of you guys are running stuff on social media. Um, so what we're going to try to specifically focus on first and foremost is the lead form on Facebook and how you can actually integrate the Facebook and have it so that if you are running a lead form on Facebook that those leads actually come right into your 
CRM system and you can set them up so they automatically receive listings. So if you are um, doing, let's say, a buying a generic buying campaign, you're just looking for buyers in Oakville, looking for condos under 600,000, for example, um, you can set it up so anyone that registers on Facebook, they would automatically enter your CRM system and get those listings uh, right away and be set up to receive continuous listings of that. It's great if you guys are doing um, open houses, you can do it that way as well. Um, you can do it for listings that you have where they fill it out. Uh, again, even though you send them, if you wanna send them listings or not, um, any lead that enters your CRM system, as long as they have a source, a tag, um, and, uh, or a lead type, you can have them automatically add to a campaign. So if you are doing, let's say, a, a seller campaign about a listing that you have, um, and that person fills out that information on Facebook, the lead enters your CRM system, boom, you can have it so that the system instantly sends them an email with the listing information, um, and then a follow-up text, and then whatever that you want to continue off that. Um, so it's, it's really great. So once you learn it, it's basically you set it, you forget it, and you follow up as, as you need to. Um, um, so Shanna, if you are registered for this webinar, you are also registered for Monday's webinar. So you don't need to sign up anywhere. You should get the reminder um, email with respect to it, uh, same time on Monday. Um, so this, this webinar series, we created as a series just so that it is easier for you guys. Um, not having to always keep register, register, register. It's, it's you sign up once, you are you know, you're gonna get those notifications about the upcoming, you know, how they're coming. Um, if you guys are members of our Facebook group, uh, we do try to post them in there as well. Um, so there is a thread from Alma that does, she's updating. Um, let me just pull that up so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Um, if you guys do have, um, or aren't a member of the clients page, um, just search for agent locator clients on here. Um, and you'll find it. So we do have the live webinars. Uh, Emma is doing great at advertising these. So if you do click on the more option here, um, you will, it will expand and kind of let you know what's coming up. Um, and then she's also posting all the replays as well. So if you did miss a certain webinar and you want to watch it, um, they are generally going to be here. Um, yeah. Any additional questions from you guys that I can help with? Um, so one more thing I just want to mention to you before we go is training. Um, so we're all we're all in different situations right now. Um, so we do have four trainers. So Brana is one of them. We have um, so I guess four in addition to myself, so Brana, and then there's three others, and then myself, of course. Um, so we are doing training. You know, you guys do have a little bit more time um, with yourself, and it's, it's the best time to really learn how to leverage a system that you're paying for. Um, so if you guys do want to, actually, that's not even the link. I don't know what I'm doing. If you guys do want to um, schedule yourself in for training. It will be uh, just so that you guys do know it is most reflective on the CRM system itself. Um, so the trainers, a lot of the trainers, they are that's so their primary is to help those people that are on lead generation. Um, but so if you're looking for like help with with your website or help with Facebook or things like that, um, they won't necessarily be able to help you with that. Um, so if you do need help with any of those things, again, just shoot an email to myself. Um, but we have an amazing team of trainers who are really, you know, pushing you guys and learning how to use the filters in your system, you know, the importance of logging your calls, um, finding and creating those specific audiences for yourself. So um, once you have everything in place and you have leads coming in, you should be able to leverage and use your system, you know, daily getting in and out with less than 60 minutes a day, um, like ideally like 30 minutes. Um, so once you learn it, it's something that will definitely assist you when, when things start to pick up um, because you guys do have a lot of leads in your system right now and what better time to leverage that. Um, a lot of them are very talkative, um, very curious, and it's a great time to be building those relationships and having a system that kind of tells you who and when you should call people is, is gonna help you with that. So 
Um, thank you all for watching. If we don't have any more questions, uh, again, we will be back on Monday, same time for the Facebook webinar. And if you guys need any help um, by any means, just reach out to us and uh, have yourself a great weekend. Thanks for watching.